Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and today I'm going to discuss the different ASHRAE air diffusion classifications, mixed, partially mixed, and stratified systems. I've referred to stratified systems before, but I didn't really discuss it. ASHRAE classifies systems as fully mixed, partially mixed, or fully stratified. You can think of these as being on a spectrum from mixed to stratified. In a mixed system, the supply air is mixed throughout the space. In a stratified system, the air movement is only driven by the buoyancy in the space. The classifications describe room temperature as elevation increases from floor to ceiling. The most common system we see in the U.S. is the fully mixed system. A fully mixed system essentially has no temperature variation from floor to ceiling. Overhead air distribution systems are mixed systems. Air comes in through a ceiling diffuser. Let's draw a little diffuser in the ceiling. Erase that. Okay, that's a diffuser, we'll say. The air comes in and rolls the room on each side, mixing the air and inducing room air in as it goes. If you graph it out with temperature across the bottom against the height of the room, it'll look something like this, where the temperature is basically the same throughout the space. In the middle of the spectrum, you have the partially mixed system. A partially mixed system is mixed in the occupied zone and stratified above that. Underfloor air distribution systems are partially mixed systems. So let's draw this in, and it's a raised floor, so we'll put this here. Draw in a raised floor diffuser, a swirl diffuser. The air comes out swirling, and it has a throw of about four to five feet. The air is rapidly swirling out of the face, which induces room air into the supply air and creates a mixed space up to that five foot range. Above that height, the air is stratified, because the fuser does not have any velocity in that area. A partially mixed system looks something like this. So right at the floor you'd have a temperature rise because that's where the diffuser is. Then you'd have a mixed zone that's fairly flat and then you would have the stratified layer on top. Where the mixing ends and the stratification starts depends on the type of diffuser you're using and the load of the space. On the other end of the spectrum is a fully stratified system. In a fully stratified system, there is little or no mixing. Displacement ventilation is a stratified system. So let's draw in a displacement diffuser along a wall here. The air comes out at low velocity and moves slowly across the floor. When it comes to a heat source, like a person, the air and the heat from that person will rise there's no actual mixing going on, and the temperature rises as you go from floor to ceiling, so it would look something like this. It would be a high temperature change right at the floor, and then it would just rise up and be stratified pretty much throughout the entire space. Whether you have a mixed system or a stratified system, or somewhere in between, it's important to know for various reasons. If you're using a partially mixed system, like an underfloor system, it's important not to break the stratified layer with your diffuser because that will mix the unwanted heat from the stratified layer into your occupied space. Also, the type of system you have and how you are heating and cooling, whether it's from the floor or the ceiling, determine what your zone air effectiveness is per ASHRAE 62.1. So these are good things to know. Those are the different types of systems per ASHRAE. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking a time out with us.